Alright guys, so this is the, uh, this is the Son of Mercury, my white face total eclipse that I bred last year. Uh, this is one of the offspring that proved him out to be het for Tremper. This is a, uh, Lavender Pastel Macaraptor. Its eyes are, I want to say solid, there might be a little tiny bit that isn't, but... They're premium. So, uh, what we are going to do today is we are going to ship this little guy off to Jared Moore at Lepo Gecko. And, uh, I know that Jared is going to keep moving forward with the Whiteface project. So, as always, we are going to. I'm going to put a little bit of something to keep that guy in there. We are going to write down what the information is. This is TG1330 hatched 060413. It is a male Mac Raptor. And what else do we need to put? Uh, he is 44 grams a few seconds ago. And he is from the Total Eclipse Project White Face. I like to just put as much info as I can on there, and uh, just because, you never know. So, I am going to go ahead and put this little guy in here, and I will get back to you in one second, because who knows how long this is going to take. I always make sure that the tail isn't pinched at all, it's always free, just because, you know, you don't want to pinch their tail. You don't want them to show up with the missing their tail in transit, so I always try to do that. <sighs> Common sense stuff, I guess, when you're shipping animals. But, uh, so let me go ahead and grab one of my handy dandy uni heats and remember take it out, give it a shake. We're going to go ahead and put this little guy down in the bottom here. I'm going to give it a shake. You want the red line to face the animal. So. But what I w do want to do this shipment. Just because the temps are warming up, what we want to do... I can get some, is we want to wrap it in some paper. So, how are we going to remember? Okay, so that side, the red line is right there. I'm just going to go ahead and wrap it in some paper. Slap a little tape on there. So the red line is right here. So that's what's going to face the actual animal. So then we go ahead and we put it like this. And we stick it there. We go around this other side and we put a little slip on that. So that way they've got something to pull the top off of this a little easier. That's just what I like to do. So, I have also included a genetic archive for the Total Coast Project Whiteface, which I have quite a few generations of animals here, and this is a very important project to me. So I do include a genetic lineage when I ship out something from this project. And 
I know last year I sent out a bunch of stuff, and I'm still working on getting those family trees going. And uh, if I missed you, I know that I had a big issue. I was mailing these out after the animal, so now I started including these in the box. So if you did not receive it, go ahead and let me know, and I will send you out a little box or something with it. So we're going to go ahead and do our packing peanuts. You always want to, you know, make sure you get get them in there. Okay. And as always, you can see I did insure this one for the $200. That's how much the animal was shipped. And you can see $80.98 is what the shipping cost did. And then, you know, with box and deli cups and packing peanuts, we can just say that it's close to $90, $95 for all of that. So, something else that we forgot to do. Since we are doing it this way, I'm going to make sure we poke our holes. Don't worry, it's above the animal. The animal's not going to get poked. I do two holes, one on each side, and they are on the sides that don't get tape when I go to tape the box. Because when you go to tape up the top, you're probably going to tape right over it. So, I will, of course, include... I do include the uh, shipping receipt now. I just think that that's, uh, and I know he's going to do an unboxing. Open, off, camera. So, Jared, open the envelope off the camera just because, you know, my uh, shipping information's on there and I don't want every everybody in there lunacy seeing that so uh there we go with that i gotta take some of these out of here there's a little too much don't forget the heat pack is gonna end up for some of the space that's done in there so we're going to stick our heat pack make sure it sits flat you've got your little tug string right here and we are going to set our genetic archive paper right on top. I think that's everything that's going in this this uh, package. Uh, I'm going to put it upside down. So that way, if he does use a razor blade or something, it's not going to hit the data side of the DVD. It's an actual DVD, so it's just full of pictures and stuff. It shows all the genetic lineage, and all, that, all that fun stuff, but uh, yeah, so squeeze it together, get yourself a strip across, and then go ahead and get yourself a big old strip, <sighs> one leopard gecko. Okay, so, now, oh yes, I might as well, while I'm here, harmless leopard gecko, okay, this little guy's taking being shipped a whole lot easier than other, other people, so, alright, I'm gonna go ahead and affix my, uh, shipping label and all that and I will see all of you guys on my next video I'm not sure when it's going to be 
I know that uh, I'm going to be taking some time away from uh, Facebook and posting and all that stuff. I'm still doing the late night Leos on Blog Talk Radio and the Facebook page, but uh, yeah. So anyways, I will see you all later.